It's great to see you again. I hope everyone is happy today. Can you tell me where you are right now? You're in school watching Max World. Great! I hope you learn lots of new things today. Now let's take a look at what we have in this program. Hmm, it looks very interesting. Something about the classroom. Mr. Hans is going to teach us something new. We're going to meet my friend, the word machine. We're going to learn how to use words to help us know where a person, animal, or object is. Ah, an interesting story. And we'll sing a new song. Let's meet our friends. Hey, friends. Say hello to everyone. Hi, I'm Iswan. Hello, I'm Lily. Hi, I'm Nurul. Hi, my name is Justin. Hello, I'm Usha. Hello, I'm Benji. Friends, can anyone tell me where you are? We are in a classroom. Yes, that's right. You are in a classroom. You can find a lot of things here. Can you name them? This is a table. This is a desk. This is an eraser. This is a ruler. This is a bag. This is a sharpener. Well, there are many other things in the classroom. Let's name some of them. This is a broom. This is a piece of chalk. This is a duster. This is a waste paper basket. And the list goes on and on. Why don't each of you Make your own list to see who can come up with the longest one. Have fun! This is a job for Spellman. Mm -hmm. Window. Window. Oh, no. Green. Green. Hello, I'm Mr. Hens. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a paper tray. Let's get started. All you need is a square piece of paper. Make sure it is thick enough so that it does not tear easily. Place it on a flat surface. Fold it in half and unfold it again 
to get a middle fold line like this. Next, fold the top and bottom sides over to meet the middle fold line. Now we need two other fold lines. So fold the top and bottom sides over to meet the middle fold line like this. Then unfold it again. Now we are going to fold these four pointed ends here towards the two new fold lines. Fold it like this. Next, take this piece in the middle here and fold it to the top like this and do the same with the bottom piece too. Then slowly lift this top and bottom piece here like this. Look, a rectangular shape is forming. Pull the sides into the shape And now your tray is ready to be used. Well, you can use this tray to put all the little things which can easily get lost like paper clips and buttons. I hope you will have lots of fun making trays for yourself and your family. Thank you for joining me. Till we meet again, have fun. Bye. Read and spell, you can do it well. How? With the word machine. Take a look, the big, big book. Now, it's the We haven't written the name of today's chapter yet because uh, we've got problems. Yes. Oh, yes. When I have a drink, if I want to have a little sip, instead I get a little ship. I want a sip. I get a ship. Don't ask me why. H. Yes, that's a very nice letter, H, but we've got other things to worry about, like socks. Every time I try to put on a sock, instead I get a... Ah! Shock. I want a sock, instead I get a shock. What's going on? H. Oh, I get it. Those H's are a clue to what's going on. Well... There's sock. So, where does the H fit in? That's it. After the S. S and H together make one sound. Shh. So it's the beginning that's changed. Sock becomes shock. 
I wonder if it's the same with sip and ship. Does the beginning of the word change? <laughs> okay. That's sip. Now put the H after the S. It becomes ship. A letter H turns s into sh. So, what have you got to do? Look for the H. You want a little sip, but you get a little ship, which isn't quite the same. You're putting on a sock, but instead you get a shock. It really is a shame. The H makes a difference, and where will that H be found? Look for the H right after the S. Two letters that make one sound. We've got another problem now. If you open a cat flap, what do you expect to come out of it? A cat? Well, have a listen to this. <laughs> this isn't a cat flap, it's a... Chat flap. Hang on, it's those H's again changing things. An H turns a K into a CH, which could explain what's happened to the pencil case. It's not a pencil case, it's a pencil. It's a pencil chase. Case, chase. It's that H changing things again. Oi, come here. You think you've got a cat, but instead you have a chat, which isn't quite the same. You want a pencil case, but you get a pencil chase. It really is a shame. The H makes a difference and where will that H be found? Look for the H right after the C. Ch two letters that make one sound. So, keep your ears and eyes open for words beginning with SH or CH. The H makes a difference. Oh! It, whoa! It's time now to learn about word families. Today, we are going to look at colours. There are many colours around us. Here are some of them. Red Yellow Blue Green Black and white. Well, there are many more colors. Can you name them? Happy trying! Today, we are going to look at words that help us know where a person, animal, or object is. Here are some of them. In. On. Under. Behind. Between. In. In. The ball is in the box. The fish is in the aquarium. On. On. The bag is on the table. Under. Under. The car is under a tree. The shoes are under the table. Behind. Behind. 
Lily is standing behind Nuru. Justin is hiding behind the chair. Between. Between. Iswan is sitting between Arwin and Benji. The motorcycle is parked between the cars. Well, that's how we use words that tell us where a person, animal or object is. See you! story for you. I'm sure you will enjoy it. It's called San Kanchil and the Tiger. Just watch and listen. San Kanchil and the Tiger. One evening, San Kanchil the mouse deer felt very thirsty. So he went down to the stream. The water was cool and he drank as much as he could. Ah, he said, now I'm not thirsty anymore. Sang Kanchil turned around. He started walking back to the forest. And suddenly, the tiger leapt off a rock and caught Sang Kanchil with his big paws. Ha 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 ha, I've got you now, Sang Kanchil, said the tiger happily. I'm going to have you for dinner. Yum, yum. Sang Kanchil was a very smart animal. Quickly, he thought of a plan to escape. Oh, great king of the jungle, he said. Do you not know where I'm coming from? Huh? What do you mean? The tiger asked. Well, I have just come from a meeting with all the animals in the forest, Sang Kanchil explained. We are going to crown you king tomorrow, and I am the one who is looking after your crown, he added. The tiger had a big smile on his face. He thought that if all the animals wanted him to be king, then he would not have to hunt again. He could just wait in his den and eat any one of them when he was hungry. Take me to the crown now, shouted the tiger. I want to be crowned the king of the jungle today. Sang Kanchil pretended to be worried. But, but, but all the animals will only be here tomorrow, oh great one. Now, roared the tiger, and he let go of the mouse deer. Okay, please follow me, said Sang Kanchil as he led the tiger into the forest. After a few minutes, they came to a tree with a very big beehive on it. Sang Kanchil pointed to the hive and said that it was the king's crown. With one big leap, the greedy tiger grabbed the beehive and put it on his head. The bees were very, very angry and stung the tiger's head and body. The tiger screamed in pain. He ran as fast as he could and jumped into the stream. Sang Kanchil was safe. He laughed at the silly tiger, shook his head and quickly walked away. And the moral of the story is, if you think hard enough, you'll be able to find a way out of your difficulties. Do you know what happens when we join words together? We will get new words. They're called compound words. Let's see how this is done. News Paper
Newspaper. Newspaper. Sun. Flower. Sunflower. Sunflower. Ground. Nut. Ground nut. Ground nut.